What's up? This is how the chain mail. I'm a six feet under. I feel my hunger. Anxious summer. So I started by playing all of these strings on a actual cello. I play cello like in college, but if you have access to a cello, it, it is not really that difficult. So first I just got the bass notes doing 617 progression. And then I have the fifth on top of that. So together. Then I've got this high melody. Then I've got another melody. And another melody. Another melody. And then this lead line that kind of pulls everything together. And all the strings together sound like this. So that's the main loop that goes throughout the song. All I really do is just add and take away. Or not add, but I just take away from that. So now for the beat. So I started with this just basic spins 808. And I uh, made this envelope so it doesn't really like sustain as long and it comes in a little late. So without that envelope. I added this distortion onto the 808 and then I have this automation clip making it only come in at certain parts of the 808 and it makes it like a lot more dynamic. I just wanted it to be a little pluckier, punchier, then I just got like some trap claps. And then a uh, hi-hat, pretty simple trap pattern, just got some rolls, it's kind of sporadic. Then I add in just a snare layered on the clap. Then a open hatch on the downbeat. Then a, another little side snare. The thing with these is you want to keep the drums simple, but the snares complicated. Like, you want to have snares coming in in just, like, random places, but it's got to be bounced. I've just got a kick only on the downbeat, and it doesn't play anywhere other than right there. Then I've got a, another snare that just layers with the other two, and that's pretty much the beat. Uh, it's not too complicated so in the whole beat together and then I've got like sword sound effects crash that's 
really it for the beat. So first, we're gonna talk about the lyrics. So for chainmail lyrics, you gotta mention basically anything old war. So starting off talking with the fields, talking about the rain, you have to throw an armor bar in there. You, you have to say armor at least one. And then almost died, everything's ancient, and then it, it doesn't really need to be like the greatest writing, but you just gotta like keep it in the world, you know? So I put those vocals down and they sound like this. So here's what the vocals sound like with no effects. Hunger. I'm a six feet under, I can fuel my hunger, anxious summer. So, let's go ahead and fix that. First, noise gate is always, and then waves tune as fast as it'll go. Our comp, just uh, doing some compression. SSL on a lead vox. Just gives it some life. Hunger, almost six feet under. Hunger, almost six feet under. And then an EQ, just kind of giving it like a bell. Hunger, almost six feet under. I can fuel my hunger, anxious summer. Just bear with me. We got a DSer. Hunger, almost six feet under out some s's and then doing the heavy lifting here is ozone bright vocals hunger almost six feet under i can fuel my hunger anxious summer and then ozone imager on focus vocals but it doesn't even matter because it's mono anyway hunger almost six feet under i can fuel my and then the number one sound for this type of like metallic vocal is the small and wide super massive you can also use valhalla room this is like the the number one plugin for this type of stuff hunger i'm a six feet under i can fuel my hunger anxious summer and then i've just got a radio filter that i automate in and then I have that routed to a just super massive delay. I'm a six feet under. I can fuel my hunger. Anxious summer. I just saw the light. It's a breakthrough. So, now for the best part. The other thing about chainmail is at the end, you always got to do something like kind of spectacular something extravagant so here i uh just add in like uh there's a serum it's like a super saw i'll i'll get all of that but i flip it So first, we'll talk about the vocal chops. First time, yellow type, voice to be heard, grape type, voice to be heard. First time. On their own, they sound really offbeat and terrible, but once they're like absolutely squashed by the beat. First time, yellow type, voice to be heard, grape type, voice to be heard. First time. Kinda gives it some bounce. To get this chop type of sound, I basically just like took the main vocal, dragged it over, 
cut the ends off and then go to chop time based chopping bars or chopping beats and that automatically makes it like each word is cut on its own so then i did that and rearranged the words to write a different melody and then basically i just kind of stuck with the pattern First time. For vocal chops, you just have to think that, like, the goal of what you're doing is to rewrite a new melody out of the vocals. You just, it doesn't matter what they're saying, it doesn't matter what it sounds like, it just needs to have melody and be a melody that makes sense. It's like, and then there's parts where I kind of just let the vocals play out, like. Yeah, so here, this is me kind of allowing it to say the original word, or like the original phrase. But instead of it being like the same take, I went through and grabbed the same word in different places. It gives it like the. It gives you that choppiness. And then down here, I add a bunch of stuff. So you gotta use the Minecraft firework launch. That's just a given. Here I add like just a extra little snare. Then I got this serum that comes in. It's just like a pretty basic super saw, nothing too crazy. And then uh, I bring in a kick, another snare. I also add in this snare roll here. And what this is doing is just copying the hi-hat from this altered section of the beat. So in this section, I basically just made it, it's got the same like low rolls and everything, but I made it more of like a drill hi-hat pattern. So add in this side snare with some also, like some added rolls where the hi-hat drops out. Can't even hear that because I cut it. Same open hi hat. Oh, that's the same. Then I add this, uh, just classic chant. Good old fashioned drill crash. Make sure you got the envelope on the square so that it goes short, like here. But you hear how the crash is cutting with every beat chop. And then I've got this serum lead. Just another like pretty basic fat super saw. And I've got these chords. LFO1 routed to that stuff. No effects got this macro one routed to the rate and then I have it automated down here so the chords just makes it kind of flutter and uh, once you add all that together add some beat cuts Fills like this gunshot firework. Uh, just like a 
like a random piano sample for half a second. And uh, another Minecraft sound. Like you just wanna, you wanna do a lot of chops, keep it busy, and use Minecraft sounds. And, uh, the master, it's a soft clipper, threshold all the way down, and then it's turned down a lot and run through ozone just to like pull it back up and then a uh, eq just to turn the bass down quite a bit it was kind of overbearing that's uh how to chain mill uh like and subscribe